fellow Ambazonians, fellow children of God, I am Fon Fangum Gojidinka. I had no intention to speak out at this time, but I decided to do so in response to phone and emails calling on me to speak out as the father of Ambazonia. I want to first of all say I am not the father of Ambazonia. The father of Ambazonia is the Lord God who thousands of years ago created the Ambas Bay. Geography identifies the zone of Ambas Bay as Ambazonia. I am only the little creature which the Lord God used to put the name Ambazonia into writing through the pamphlets I wrote in 1985 on the Ambazonian revolt. It is the Lord God himself who kick-started the Ambazonian revolt by making President Beer enact Restoration Law 84-01 on the 2nd of January 1984, which dissolved the illegal union of our two countries and restored them back as mutually sovereign and independent of each other again as they were before the illegal union, which was first called Federal Republic and later called United Republic of Cameroon. President Beer only realized it when I called on him to withdraw from Ambazonia in compliance with his restoration law. This is proof positive that the restoration of Ambazonian independence is the act of God to put an end to Cameroon occupation of Ambazonia. President Beer arrested me and I was tortured till I suffered a stroke which paralyzed my left side. He then charged me before the Cameroon Military Tribunal with high treason, an offense which is punishable with death by a firing squad. The Lord God made the tribunal dismiss the case but President Bia rearrested me and put me under indefinite house arrest. From there, I made my escape into exile in 1988. In 1990, I went to the United Nations with our case. And after studying they advised, one, that a proclamation be made formalizing the restoration of our country's independence with its geographical identity as Ambazonia. Two, that a formal request be made for a seat at the United Nations, including a request for the UN to put Cameroon out of Ambazonia. This we did. However, the UN said, Ambazonia seat at the UN would be available only when Ambazonia's elected representatives 
stop attending Cameroon Parliament. Meanwhile, in 1992, we got President Bia to acknowledge Amazonia as an independent nation through the Bamenda High Court case HCB 2892. The proceedings appear verbatim in the Cameroon newspaper, Le Messager. English edition of 10 February 1993. With that newspaper, I approached Nigeria's head of state, General Sani Abacha, to use his good offices to get President Bia withdraw from Ambazonia in compliance with Cameroon Law 84-01 and Cameroon High Court Judgment, HCB 2892. When President Bia rejected Nigeria's good offices, General Abacha sent Nigerian troops to occupy Ambazonia's oil-rich Bakasi Peninsula. General Abacha offered to withdraw from the peninsula when President Bia withdraws from Ambazonia's mainland. Cameroon sued Nigeria at the International Court of Justice, and the court ordered both Cameroon and Nigeria to withdraw to their boundaries as obtained at independence. Then in January, 2005, the United Nations got both Nigeria and Cameroon to sign a treaty to comply with the judgment of the International Court of Justice. And Cameroon President Bia signed it saying, and I quote, I, President Paul Bia of the Republic of Cameroon, in a bid to provide lasting peace to the Bakasi conflict, do hereby commit myself and my government to respect the territorial boundaries of my country as obtained at its independence. Unquote. And Cameroon independence was on the 1st January 1960 when Ambazonia was still part of the Nigerian Federation. In 2009, the Lord God made the United Nations surveyors go and build huge pillars along the international boundary line which separates Cameroon from Ambazonia. So when President Bia says Cameroon is one and indivisible, we say yes, but Ambazonia is not part of Cameroon. A case in point is that when Ahijo resigned, Paul Bia was illegally made head of state so as to prevent the National Assembly President S.T. Muna becoming interim head of state till a new president is elected within 90 days. The reason is that S.T. Muna was an Amazonian, and Amazonians are not Cameroonians. So President Bia has been an illegal president from day one to this day, and he knows it. Let me reaffirm that with effect from 2nd January 1984, Ambazonia's independence 
became a fact and no longer a matter for debate. And Ambazonia would take its seat at the United Nations once our elected representatives resigned from Cameroon Parliament. We therefore salute and hail our Honorable MP, Wilba, for leading the way in standing tall to be counted in support of our people's demand, which is summarized in these 12 words, Cameroon public servants go home, Ambazonian senators and MPs come back home. We are therefore thankful to our lawyers, the teachers, and the masses who have made this strike a national one, enabling us to have the Civil Society Consortium as our home front leadership. We call on the consortium to stand firm with the strike till illegal President Bia withdraws from Ambazonia until our members resign from Cameroon Parliament so that Ambazonia can take its seat at the United Nations. This will provide legal cover for the foreign assistance which we need to reconstruct our governing organs in accordance with Ambazonia's constitution. And that is our 1960 constitution, which has been modified to replace the Queen of England with a native Ambazonian as Ambazonia's head of state. In this connection, we issued one ordinance creating Ambazonian Civil Defense Force to absorb our boys from Cameroon security forces, and another ordinance creating an interim Ambazonian government consisting of the 12 most important ministries. We will appoint persons to head this, the ministries only, and I repeat, only after full consultations with the Civil Society Consortium, which is leading the home front activities. Fellow Ambazonians, together let us pray to our most merciful and everlasting Father Almighty, to glorify himself early by giving us victory sooner than later. This we pray in the name and through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father.